everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today, and this time I'm taking a look at the Protocol Dronium 2 Quadcopter. Now, just a quick look at the box here. It's quite a bit smaller than the Galileo's box I showed the other day. It also tapers towards the top, and what I really like is it has a see-through window, so you can tell what you're getting ahead of time. Also, the nice little carry handle here. But we're going to get rid of that right away, and we're going to take a look at some of the stuff that comes with the Dronium 2. So, if you, of course, have your instruction book. Now, for some reason, I only have English this time, so I don't know if uh, the French was omitted by mistake or whatever, but English book. We'll look at the remote just in a bit here. Now, there's four of these rotor guards. Each one comes with its own screw already in place and ready to go, so they're easily swappable with the uh, with the other ones if one breaks. Four spare rotors as well. Of course, you have your little uh, USB plug in here, and of course, this is how the chip goes in it, the SD chip, just like that. And then you go ahead and plug it in this in. Once again, it does not fit into my Mac properly. It fits into my wife's uh, PC okay, though. Now, the SD chip this time is a 2 gigabyte chip instead of a 4. So the Galileo, of course, came with a 4 gig. But even so, this one can hold up to 800 photos or 20 minutes of video time. So not too bad at all there. Now, the charging system is a little bit different. The Galileo had the wall plug-in system. This one is a USB, so uh, that goes into your computer. And this end here into the battery, which I'll show in a sec. Finally, a little screwdriver that comes. You can use that for uh, swapping out the rotors or the rotor guards or whatnot. No screws came with it, though, which is a little bit strange. Now, as for the Dronium itself, it's about 10 or so inches across at the rotors, and more like 15 or so at the actual rotor guard right at the very end. It's got this nice silver and black sort of color scheme with some green accents there. And we'll flip it over here and take a look at the bottom. Now, one thing that I really like about this is that you do not have to attach the legs yourself when you first get it. Uh, and also, no screws. So they easily pop on and off with pegs. There is little uh, holes for screws or potentially for screws, but of course, None come with it. Um, anyway, very easy to get that on. They're also very flexible, really good in a crash landing or whatever. This is your camera. Now that's probably just about as small of a camera as I have ever seen, one of the smallest lenses I have ever seen, that's for sure. And it's sort of semi-permanently attached to the Dronium 2. Uh, you can remove it. There's some screws on the other side there inside that you could take it out if you needed to uh, change it or whatever, but it's really meant to stay on there. Now let's just turn her around and I'll show you the on and off switch. It's right here, very, very small. Of course, again, you have the green flashing lights for the front, red flashing lights for the back. This is excellent when you're out taking some photos and you want to make sure you're oriented properly because, you know, and I hadn't even really thought of that for the, the Galileo when I talked about it the other day, but it really helps you to know what direction you're, you're going in unless you get it so high up in the sky that you can't really see the lights anymore. I'll just turn that off. Now to get up the battery, you just pop this forward and then lift her up just like that. And as you can see, the battery is plugged into this little outlet right here. And so when it comes time to charge the battery up, you just pop this out and then the battery itself will easily come out. Of course, it's a rechargeable battery. Very small this time as compared with the, with the Galileo's battery. I'll just show you how to plug it into the battery charger here. So just like that. And then of course to send into your USB, it's already lighting up red. When the light goes off, she's all charged and ready to go. Uh, now, what else should I show? Oh, one other thing I did want to mention is that uh, some of your gears and stuff are exposed on this one, which is not the case with the Galileo, and I really, I'm a little bit iffy on that because, you know, you could get mud or dirt or something in there and could cause some damage. I really like on the Galileo that they're all sealed in. Now, let's just show for comparison the Galileo itself along with the Dronium 2 here, and as you can see, there's a bit of a size difference here, but it's not really massive difference. And uh, of course, this uh, Dronium 2 is so light, you probably have to weigh it in grams like a bag of chips. That's how light this thing is. Just super, super light. It flies extremely well. I pretty much found that it flies every bit as well as the as the Galileo, even though it's quite a bit of a, of a cheaper model. So definitely, definitely worth picking this one up. If you are wondering where the SD chip goes in the camera, I'll just demonstrate how to do that. So we just turn the drone around to the back side there, and you can see that little slot in the back end of the camera. Now there's your chip, 
You just line it up with the little arrow pointing inwards. Get it right along the edge there. And in she goes. And she kind of locks in place. When you're ready to take it out, you just give it a press and it halfway pops out and then you can easily get a hold of it. But uh, don't do that while the power is on or you could lose data off your chip and lose some of your nice photos and video. Now one thing that I wanted to mention is that the Dronium's box says that its 2.4 gigahertz transmitter provides clear wide area reception over distances up to 100 feet. Now, i tell you the truth, I found that I could get two, three hundred feet without any sign of losing my signal or any kind of control problems at all, other than the fact that I'm not that great at flying one. Uh, this is a little bit of uh, park footage here, and there will be more of this at the end of the video. There I come at my wife's face. Uh, she did a pretty good job staying with me, actually, on that one, and a bit of a kind of a crash landing here at the end, so not so good there, but I definitely got a lot of distance out of this thing. Okay, let's just take a quick look at the Dronium 2's transmitter here. Uh, it's basically a scaled down version of the Galileo's transmitter, as you can see. Uh, the Galileo's one is very, very big, but other than that, they're virtually identical. They have all the same buttons and joysticks. The functionality is identical as far as I can tell. Uh, we'll go through that in a sec here, but I just want to point out that the major difference that I found other than size is that the Dronium 2 has a screw down battery cover. Uh, of course, the Galileo there pops up very easily, just like that. Whereas this one here is going to give you a little bit more trouble. You'll get the chance to use your mini screwdriver. It fits in there perfectly, and then you just click her down there and open her up. Now, it does take four AA batteries, so that part's very easy, and then you can pop it back on, and you're all ready to fly. But let's just run through some of the functionality here. So up in this corner here, top left corner, that is your speed selector button, so you can choose between high or low speed. So if you're a beginner, go with the low speed. If you're a little bit more advanced, go with the high speed. I always go with the low because I'm not very good at flying. Up in this other corner, now that's your 3D stunt button. So this basically just gets you into the mode for 3D stunt flying. You'll still have to work the joysticks and whatnot to actually perform the stunts. And this thing can do some nice stunts. I'm not uh, so good at them myself. Um, now the left controller here, this one's for your throttle. So take off and landing and that sort of thing. And it also turns your drone side to side well in the air so you can get face in whatever way you want to face and of course this one over here the right one sends you off in whatever uh, direction so if you want to go forward you just go up like that and whatever way your drone is facing she'll take off in that direction now here's your on and off switch here you got your little uh, power light indicator there and of course you got the LCD screen again just like with the Galileo it has 17 different pieces of information stuff like go battery uh, charge left and whether you're in high or low speed that sort of thing um, also you have all your different fine tuning buttons that's these ones here this one this one and this one and of course the camera itself which is my favorite button the most important uh, up is a quick uh, photo and down is to begin or to end a video now just before we end off here I'm gonna send over to some uh, basically some flying footage so there's some ground up footage again and then there's some uh, footage with the Dronium looking down on me. I was in a local park, uh, pretty nice views, uh, cityscape in the background, that sort of thing. Uh, thank you for watching, appreciate it, and have an excellent day.